Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have an update from the Divine Masculine. We're going to find out how we're currently feeling about the Divine Feminine in the Twin Flame Collective. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so um, I'm definitely getting that the Divine Masculine is getting guided by Spirit to heal things with you, okay? Um, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse, Temperance, and the King of Swords in reverse, okay? Um, so I am getting that Spirit is definitely guiding this Divine Masculine to come and heal things with you, okay? Um, this Divine Masculine is holding themselves back. You guys may have had a fight last time you spoke, or maybe you're just not on good terms. Yeah, I am seeing that this Divine Masculine is doing a lot of watching you, okay? Doing a lot of um, keeping a close eye on you, but holding themselves from back from communicating, right? I am seeing that the Divine Feminine here, okay? They're waiting for some type of movement from this Divine Masculine, okay? Um... They definitely are seeing the brighter picture, even though you guys are not on good terms. Divine Feminine definitely seeing the bigger picture here. There's a lot of love on both sides, okay? But I am seeing there's like a very stubborn um, feel to this read. Like I'm getting maybe you guys had a fight and now you guys are not speaking. I am seeing there's a separation. This Divine Masculine is getting guided to end this separation. Um... This Divine Masculine, okay, it's like they're trying to lie to themselves. They're trying to, like, literally, I'm getting, it's like they're looking for, like, looking for you in other people, and it's like they're not succeeding, okay? They're not finding you in other people, and they're realizing that, okay? The only way that they're going to get another chance is if they literally heal things with you. But they do a lot of watching you, okay? They are, like really defensive when it comes to you. I don't know, I feel this little stubborn vibe here, like you guys have been arguing or something, or you guys did not end on good terms. This Divine Masculine, okay, that I'm picking up, um, they definitely have spent a lot of time ignoring this connection, running from this connection, um, pretending they don't see it, okay, denying this connection, um, they basically were not ready for commitment, they basically wanted to keep other options, but that had, like, basically led them nowhere, led them nowhere, right? Um, so they could be exploring other options, and it's getting to the point where it's like they're lying to themselves, because they know they want to be with you. And I am seeing Divine Feminine here just literally waiting for this Divine Masculine to make some type of movement, or some type of commitment, like, this Divine Feminine is not, like, messing around. Like, I'm saying that you're looking for commitment, okay? You're looking for something that's stable, solid. You're not looking for somebody that's going to, like, you know, treat you like an option or not want to settle down, okay? Um, which is where this Divine Masculine's head was at when they first met you. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Cancer. So this Divine Masculine definitely has been really immature, okay? They're like living in the moment, but to the extent where they're not thinking about their future at all. Like, I'm getting this person spending all their money. Um, they're literally not thinking about the future at all, okay? It's like they think about the moment. Um, they may do a lot of partying. I keep hearing gambling, so they could gamble, okay? I am seeing somebody that's immature with money. Immature mindset, okay? Um, somebody that thought that, like, literally having options was going to be, like, better than settling down, um, until, I'm, I'm not, I don't know who cut who off, but I do see that you guys are not on good terms right now, like, I'm getting that Divine Feminine was not going to be an option here, and this Divine Masculine was really immature, um, you know, looking for options, okay, and basically this led them nowhere, they're realising that, you know, this life where they don't want to commit and settle down and they just want to entertain other options leads them 
to nothing, okay? Like, they so unfulfilled by it. I am getting this vibe where, um, this Divine Masculine, it's like they keep looking back at you and it's like they keep regretting that they didn't commit to you because now they're realizing your worth. And they feel like that you wouldn't take them back. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You also could be dealing with a Taurus. I am getting that there is an issue of commitment here, okay? So, this Divine Masculine, I can definitely see they were not ready to commit, okay? They were not ready to be loyal. They were not ready to settle down. Um, and I can see that the Divine Feminine here really wanted commitment. You know, they're not going to settle, to, you know, they want options. And Divine Feminine is better than that, you know? It's like they're scared. They're, it's like they're looking at you. They're looking at this commitment. They're looking at, you know, how beautiful this could be, but they're scared of it. It would require a whole lot of change. I don't know why I'm getting... This Divine Masculine wasn't truthful. Like, they literally lied to you about something... Um, they weren't really thinking before they, this person doesn't really think before they act in general. As I said before, they live life, like, for the moment, and they don't really think about the future, and I'm getting that they may have, like, cut you off, or they could have done something here to, like, literally cut this connection off. There could have been some type of scandal involved, you could be dealing with a cancer, strong cancer. Or Pisces. This person feels like that you would not accept them back. Like they're getting guided to come and communicate with you. Um, they do want a new beginning here with you, but they feel like that you would not accept them back. You'd probably reject them. You could be dealing with a Leo. Yeah, because in the past they did something here to like literally ruin this. Or they, they, like, literally ran in the other direction. They could have ghosted you or something. Um, because this person was scared to commit. And now they want to come back. But, it, I don't know, it's like they're scared of you. It's like they're really intimidated by the fact that they're going to have to commit. I'm hearing high maintenance. I'm getting that this person feels like the fact that there's something about you. Like, you don't take no bullshit, Divine Feminine. Like... Either they're going to be with you and they're going to settle down with you. Um, like, there's not going to be any game here. They know this. That scares them. They feel like that's high maintenance. Like, them being loyal is literally high maintenance. But you are dealing with somebody that is used to, like, living life. They're not the most honest people, okay? To be honest, they're not the most honest people. They've lived their life like this. Um... But they're realizing they can't really do that with you. I'm getting the Divine Feminine at the moment because this Divine Masculine, they may be like exploring other options. This person is literally trying to find you and other people and it's not working for them and they're realizing that it's like a dead end. I'm getting like a dead end. Um, they're also realizing that this is getting them nowhere. Um, they're not happy with this. They keep looking at you. They want to come back to you, but they feel like that you would reject them. There's like a high, like you would reject them because of the character that they have shown you. Okay, this person has not showed you the most honest person. They could have lied to you or something. But I am getting the Divine Feminine here, um, because of this Divine Masculine's action, you may be feeling this is like an illusion, okay, this like connection, um, in your head at the moment, okay, like, I am getting there's a lot of confusion, because in the 3D, this person is putting on this mask, where it's like, they're pretending they do not feel any of this for you, 
which don't get like really confusing, right? Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini, strong Gemini, strong Leo, strong Cancer. This person is really upset because they feel like they've missed their chance with you, yet they cannot stop thinking about you, they cannot stop watching you either. This person, at the moment, they feel like their best bet is to stay away from you, okay? Um, again, they are a little bit intimidated by this, right? They want things to go to the next level, but... You're dealing with somebody that is pretending to be happy where they're at. Wherever they're at, they're pretending to be happy, but they're in a lot of pain and they're missing you a lot. They cannot stop thinking about this. It's like no matter what they do, no matter who they're around, it's like they hold you very close to them. They're always thinking about this. I'm literally getting an image of somebody around two females at like a club or a party. That's the image I'm getting. Um, but the thing is, this person's thinking about somebody else. Like they're literally in their head. They're not even... They're there, but they're in their head. They're thinking about somebody else, right? I'm hearing the name Jared. You could be dealing with a Capricorn here. Again, this person is literally faking. They're pretending. Oh, this person is really faking. They're putting on this fake mask, pretending they're happy when they're not. They cannot stop thinking about you. I'm getting this person done party a lot. They could drink a lot as well. But they're literally pretending that they're fine. They're literally pretending that they're happy. They're pretending that the choices that they have made... Um, are the right choices. This person has a lot of pride. Um, they have a hard time admitting that they're wrong, right? Um, and because this person has a hard time admitting that they're wrong, at the moment they feel like it's best to just stay where they're at because they feel like that they've made a complete mess, okay? They went down this toxic, dark path. They made a complete mess. They feel like that they cannot access you right now. Um, some of you may be, like, talking to somebody else. Um... I'm hearing not negotiable, like, they feel like that, yeah, it's not negotiable, like, they feel like that they've ruined their chances here, whatever this person's done, they feel like they cannot come back from it. I'm hearing the name Vanessa. Some of these, um, divine masculines may have somebody else, they may have, like, found somebody else to commit to or whatever, they're literally trying to replace you. Um, this person's not happy, they're not content. This person may have tried to, like, commit to somebody else because they thought they wanted commitment because they were missing you. Um, they weren't content with their player lifestyle anymore. So they thought, oh, no, I want commitment. But they didn't realise that they didn't want commitment. They wanted you. They wanted commitment with you, not just with some random, right? So, yeah, this person made a mess, okay? They made a mess. They walked away from this, um... They caused a lot of drama, there's a lot of pettiness here. Now they're pretending that they're fine, okay, that their choices were the right choices. Um, when everything around them is literally crashing down, okay, they're in a really dark place. I keep getting something about alcohol, they could have an addiction problem, or it doesn't have to be alcohol, but I am getting somebody could be addicted to alcohol here. I'm hearing macaroni and cheese. Let me know if that resonates. This person, um, nothing's moving for this divine masculine, okay? Because, yeah, nothing's moving, right? They're watching you. They feel like you're seeing somebody else or you're moving on and they're getting really upset about this. At the same time, this person walked away from you. They tried to manipulate you. They may have tried to put third parties into this. They may have tried to end this. You may have tried to offer them something and they completely walked away or ghosted you. Now they're realising that they have serious emotion for you. They're stuck on you. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Pisces. This Divine Masculine, okay, nothing in their life is moving at the moment, okay? They're going through something that's really hurting them. Um, some type of pain here with the Tower. 
clarified by the three of swords. There's some type of pain going on in their life, okay? Um, they're definitely going through a lot of stress, okay? They do want to reach out to you, but they're not in the best place at the moment. They continuously watch you. Like, this person, they may not speak to you, but they continuously watch you. It's like a really sneaky vibe, too. I'm getting that this person had watched you have a major glow up, okay? You definitely... Definitely doing well, I'm getting. And they're watching this. They're pretending they're looking away, though. So this Divine Masculine feels, like, foolish at the moment. They feel stupid, immature, because you were offering them something stable and they walked away from it or they took it for granted. Some of them were scared of commitment. I'm hearing the name Ali. Yeah, I'm getting, at first, this person walked away from you. Um, they could have hurt you. Definitely did not see your worth, okay? Now it's like they see your worth. You've had this major glow up. They see, like, they see you in a complete different way now. At first, they were not seeing you as you, okay? If that makes sense. I'm hearing that song that uh, I think it's called, um, I Made It. It's like, I made it. I made it. I don't really know what that song's called, but I keep hearing it. So some of you may have had this major glow up. Um, definitely in regard to your career or something, your money. It's like before. Um, they didn't. They did not see your worth. So this person. They want to come forward. I'm getting a lot of eight, okay? They want to come forward, but they feel like that they don't have a lot to offer. Um, they played a lot of games here in the past. Also, they were denying their feelings or hiding their feelings. Or just, they feel like you're going to reject them. Like, you, you're not going to want to know who they are. There's a lot of fives and a lot of eights here. Yeah, they caused a lot of imbalance here. Yeah, because they didn't realise what the connection was. They did not realise your worth at first. They're seeing you in a completely different light. Like, they're looking at you and they're surprised. Um, they feel like that you've had this major glow up and they feel like that they're stuck. Um, I don't know, like, they're stuck. Like, things have not moved forward because this person's not... They're not, like, worried about the future, to be honest. Um, they're more of a right-now person. Um, but this separation has really made them realize your worth made them realize what they rejected or turned down i'm getting they rejected you in some type of way at first um now they feel like that you're going to reject them because you had this major glow up they feel like you're unapproachable they also feel like you have a lot of options okay they're watching you um very closely they could have tried to play some type of petty game with you try to make you compete here you may have walked away from this because you know your worth, okay? This person, okay, even though they have completely disappeared from your life, like you may not hear from them, you may not see them, this person continuously thinking about you, continuously watching you, they may be single, they're continuously thinking about you, okay? It's like they want you and only you. They do feel like they don't have a chance with you anymore, but this person's trying to manifest it, okay? They're trying to manifest it. They're trying to literally, it's like this person's determined to be with you, yet they're not really, they're not really talking to you about it. They could be trying to ignore it as well. It's like they know they want to be with you. They're watching you constantly. They're obsessing over you constantly. But, um, they're holding themselves back here, yeah. They feel like they can't move towards you at the moment. They're looking at this as a missed opportunity. 
because they weren't thinking straight. They did not see your worth. They were trying to play games here. I'm hearing the name Ryan. Yeah, it's like this person turned away from you. They may have tried to make you jealous. Okay, um, played game with you here. Um, you may have cut them off. Whatever you did, you blew up. Like, you're untouchable now. They feel like they can't even talk to you as a friend. This divine masculine, um, they continuously think of ways that they can come forward. They can communicate with you. Um, they love being in your energy. They're really missing being in your energy. It's like they're watching you constantly because that's the only way they can be in your energy. I don't know, this person with the Nine of Swords in reverse, they feel like they've done something they cannot come back from, okay? They could have brought a third party into this. Um, now they realise they're in love with you, okay? It's like before they wanted to explore their options, okay? They weren't thinking about the future, they were just thinking about right now. Um, now they realise they're in love with you, but they feel like they've ruined this, like this is over, like you would not take this person back under any circumstances. Yeah, this person did something that was completely not fair to you, right? And again, at the time, they did not realise how they were going to feel about you or your worth. They just did not realise it. I'm getting that you cut them off. It's like they wanted you to, like, obsess over them or something because they were obsessing over you. So they tried to play some game to see if you cared about them. This, this is petty. I don't know who's Divine Masculine this is. But this is petty, this person's sneaky, um, but it ended up going back on themselves, I'm saying. Because you completely cut your energy away from them. Now they want to come back, they're in their feelings now. Oh, they want to reconcile. And they want to do this quickly. You made this person grow up really quickly, okay? Now this person realizes that they want to commit, okay? They do not see like, you know, keeping options as, you know, cool anymore, or, like, they don't see it as fulfilling anymore, they see you as fulfilling, and they feel like it would be their ultimate wish fulfillment if they could reconcile with you, because you literally got this person in their feelings right now, um, and this person's not used to being in their feelings, they usually, um, don't put their feelings into it okay this person wow you're bringing out their romantic side like they're realizing how much they feel for you but they're trying to like hold this under like it's like you're bringing out all these emotions in them okay they have all these emotions for you but they're trying to like keep it a secret and they're trying to like keep this tough demeanor on okay um I, i'm hearing cupid so it's like Cupid, like, literally smacked them, okay? And they're trying to hide it. You could be dealing with a Taurus here, or a Pisces. So, this person literally is in love with you, but they didn't realise, okay, that they were in love with you when they did this shit to hurt you, okay? To make you walk away. Now they feel like that you wouldn't even, like, literally, like, they can't even text you as a friend or call you as a friend. They're really intimidated, okay? Um, and they're realising that they're in love with you now, but you have all these options. They didn't treat you the best. They want to balance things out here with you, but they just don't feel like that you're going... They feel like you have other options, and you may. You may be with somebody... Wow. When I said that, guys, I literally just pulled out... The Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. Guys, you do have other options. I mean, like, you have other options, okay, with the Seven of Wands as well. Like, you've got other options. Um, there's money coming in, okay, there's love coming in. Um, you, you've had this glow up where, like, everybody wants to be with you. This Divine Masculine seeing that. Um, and they feel like the way that they've come off, 
or the drama they've caused in the past. Like, you know, you could do a lot better, right? You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Gemini. This person's obsessing over you, but again, they're trying to hide it. And they're continuously watching you, but they won't reach out. Like, they won't... Like, they won't press send. I'm literally hearing they won't press send. So they could have a message that they want to send you, but they're not. Like, they're not pressing send. This person, wow, they're literally in their feelings about you. They cannot stop thinking about you, right? No matter what they do, they can't stop thinking about you. You're their wish fulfillment. Um, any memories you guys have, like, they just can't get it out of their head. They're stressed out because they feel like they can't touch you right now. Yeah, they're really in their emotions, okay, about you right now. Um, so that's all I have for you. I really hope it's resonated. If it did, please let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.